about six years ago, the government did a survey of employers in the UK and only 1% of the IT workforce was aged between 16 and 19 years old. What was even more worrying was only 3% of employers actually said they would give people that age range a chance to work in IT. Now really, when they were asked the question of why is that, there were two main elements that came out. And the first one was that the people weren't work ready. The second thing they didn't have was the technical competence to actually do the job that they need to do once they employed them. We run here at Xenos an advanced apprenticeship which encompasses customer service skills, installation of software, configuration of software, installation of networks, building networks, a whole range of things and really the Microsoft piece fits into that. Previously we offered the MCTS certification as the end point of our apprenticeship program. This was quite a big challenge for our apprentices because it was a big jump learning about all the different elements of networking, security and operating system and then jumping directly into an MCTS exam. It's too high level for them. So the MTA fulfilled the need which they could get all the necessary background information before we actually put them into the MCTS exam. If you think about the type of person that we've got on our course here, we're talking about a young person who hasn't got a lot of experience in IT, so they're new to it. And therefore that's where MTA fitted in perfectly for us. The MTA was that stepping stone where they can move on to MTA, they can get the skills that are relevant for that within Windows and within networking, which made the transition then to MCTS even easier. I was told about the MTA that it was a new certification from Microsoft. I didn't have any sort of baseline qualifications. And I thought, yeah, good idea because it's an entry level qualification, that's where I am. I'm uh, an entry level uh, person into IT. So, if you wanted to execute a particular program, maybe the uh, administrator program for running the key skills exam. If you go into a, an office place to work, you will be using a Microsoft product one way or another. So, if you can get Microsoft certifications on your CV, then it makes you stand out. And for our apprentices who need to go on to work placements, you know, as part of their apprenticeship, being able to stand out from the crowd means that they've got a better chance of getting the job later on. I think it's really good value for someone who wants to go into an IT career. The MTA will give you confidence and it will give you the know-how before you actually start even learning the higher up certifications. So we hired Martin and four other guys who, who uh, came out of the Xenos program. Our assets are our people, so we look for people who've got the right ways of thinking, the right motivations. The fact that he brings with him these certifications and the experience that he's got from the training makes him the ideal candidate. First step for any institution that wants to get the MTA, you have to get yourself a campus license. The second step is to get your trainers or instructors to become proctors, so they will be the people invigilating the students as they do the exam. The first thing I had to do was do the exams myself. At the end of the day, a qualification is a qualification, and if I'm going to teach that qualification, then I should really hold it. We need to make sure our students are exam ready. So by taking a practice test using MeasureUp, the apprentice knows which areas that they need to improve before they go in to make sure that they're exam ready. When Prodigy Learning came and approached us about the MTA, it was just a perfect fit. It was something that we'd been looking for for a long time. It was a problem that we had faced uh, and they had, they'd got the solution. And that was fantastic for us. And at that point they involved Certiport as well. I think what's really key about partners is them understanding your business. Typically when we've done something, we've gone through a pilot phase first and see how it works out. And if it works out okay, then we'd look to roll it out on a larger scale. But with this one we didn't, we were just sold on it straight away. So we have 31 centres where we deliver this across the UK. And we chose two, we chose the MTA on networking and we also chose the MTA on operating systems. So we have 5,000 people a year doing both of those certifications. So in total you've got 10,000 certifications a year there. When I first passed my MTA exam, I was really happy. It gave me a sense of that fact that I've moved a piece on the chessboard to pursue my IT career. And when going for interviews, it shows employers that I've took the time to take an examination, I'm committed, and I want to pursue a career in IT. It's an internationally recognised qualification, so wherever you go, everyone will recognise it no matter what. 
it shows to employers that I'm more than employable, I've got the experience, I'm up to date with the latest technologies and I'm a valuable asset to have. There's plenty of jobs out there, but I think that there's also plenty of candidates out there, so the candidate has to have something extra in their tool bag. Having Microsoft certifications on your CV, they're valid all over the world.